Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JT and Games, and I'm going to be continuing my tutorial series on how to make a HUD in Unity 3D. Before we get started, don't forget to check out our website. There will be a link up there that you can use. Um, yeah, and then also don't forget to subscribe to us because it, with me doing tutor, two tutorials a week, it can be pretty easy to simply miss a tutorial and for a series like this you will not want to miss a tutorial and then if you don't want to miss a tutorial another way to figure that out is through social media google plus instagram and twitter um instagram is at jg and underscore games twitter is at jg and games and google plus is jg and games i'll try to post there a day before the tutorial comes out and yeah so now let's get started to start off, we need to go ahead and apply our HUD background into our scene. So I'm going to get a game object UI image. Now this adds a canvas and an event system. These features are only available in UD 4.6 plus. So I highly suggest you go get the Unity 4.6 or higher. I'm going to drag HUD background onto there. And I'm going to change this to 127 on the alpha. All right. So that gives it that nice fade. And now you'll see that that looks okay. It's just the problem is we have a problem. It's central. It looks more like a crosshair, which is actually what we're going to be doing in this tutorial than a, um, a background. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit Alt. I'm going to do that. I'm also going to shift so that it pivots around the center. All right. Now let's see. I notice I've got a little bit of a slant, so I'm going to try to rotate it just a tad. Never mind. Not on the Y. Where is the Z? There we go. Uh, one, five. So now I am going to set the scale to 1.15. If I hit play, you'll see it fits good. Now, you might be wondering, why are there these black bars? Well, that's because I'm actually in a 16 by 9 floor bed. You can see right here that I'm in 1920 by 1080, and so that's the aspect ratio that that would be in. Um, so if it, when, we, when I export this game, it's most likely going to be in 1920 by 1080, and then 1280 by 720, and basically all the versions of 16 point, um, 16.9 you can think of, because I made this in 16 by 9 format. All right, so now we need to make some dynamic objects. One of the dynamic objects I want to make is a crosshair. Um, now it's not really dynamic, but it's not really background either. So it's just right in the middle. Split the difference. So I'm gonna. Um, First off play, I'm going to go to Photoshop. And I'm going to create a custom document that is, I'm going to go to pixels, 1000 by 1000 pixels with a 72 bit resolution. Then I'm going to change this to crosshair. All right, so now that we've got this, I'm going to fill this layer black so that I can see what I'm doing. Because what I'm going to be making is a white crosshair. So first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to ellipse. Um, click in the middle and I'm going to uncheck from center and I'm going to go 1000 by 1000 and of course that does that because I accidentally um, I was trying something different and it didn't align it to center. I'm going to give this a white, um, this mercury gray. Um, it is, I believe, the hex is E, E, B, E, B, E, B. For some reason, my keycaster doesn't like Photoshop today, so sorry guys, I'll try to stay on my keys, but if I don't, my bad. I'm also going to change this stroke up to 15. Now that we're done with this, I'm going to begin the crosshair. by going to rectangle, and then I'm going to draw a rectangle about that thick to about right there. Now I'm going to, need to duplicate this by hitting Command J, and I'm going to move it down here. I'm going to take both of these, and I'm going to rotate them 45. Now I'm going to duplicate this, these two layers, and I'm going to click the rotation again, and I'm going to rotate this 90. So then it makes this kind of X pattern. So now we need something in the middle, and I was thinking, why use a circle when you can use a polygon? So I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to get a polygon tool, and I'm going to draw a polygon that is a 
Sorry about that. And I'm going to move it into the center. Now I'm going to go to my shape, and I'm going to give this a um, red. I'm going to give it a stroke of 10, so it's a bit thinner than everything else. Now on this polygon, I'm going to go to Effects, Outer Glow, give it a red outer glow with an opacity of 35, a spread of like that, and I'm going to give it a bit of a bigger size, but this... I'm going to keep that range of 100. I'm going to give it a very slight outer glow. Like that. That looks good. So now that I've got that, I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hide the black layer. I'm going to hit Shift S, Shift Command S. And I'm going to save this as crosshair.png. None, none for the compression in the interlace. All right, now I'm going to go back into Unity. And I'm going to import this by going to import new asset, crosshair. Now that I've imported it, you'll see that it gives us this weird square, square thingy. Well, I'm going to do sprite, um, and then give this a pixels per inch of 200. Also, the um, format needs to be 16-bit, I believe. Yep. All right. First, I'm going to try something, and I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to also change this to 16-bit. And see... Um, actually, never mind. I think compressed actually looked better. Yes. So, my bad. Do not turn on 16-bit. Turn on compressed. All right. So, now I'm going to drag this in as a new image. But so that we can stay organized, I'm going to name this canvas HUD, and I'm going to make this BG. That's what I'm going to name it. And I'm going to go click on this HUD. Make sure you're clicked on the HUD, and I'm going to go to Game Object, UI, Image. Now I'm going to call this Crosshair. I'm going to drag my crosshair on there. But it's a bit big, and so I believe I settled on 0.5 by 0.5 for the size. And yes. I'm going to set this on so that it stays in the middle, but I think it stretches. Nope. Is there any way? I want it to scale. Hmm. I'm going to keep it like that. All right. Now I'm going to set this to center. All right, now if I play, that's a pretty good size. Now, I don't want this to scale because right now that looks really good. So I'll probably set something like if the screen resolution is a certain below a certain thing, make that the size. But right now, if I go all the way across and I just shoot, it actually lines up with the crosshair very well. So now what do we need next? We need the health bar. Now for the health bar, I've got a pretty cool idea. So I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to create a new um, object. And I'm going to call this health bar dash item. Now the reason I'm making it like this is because I want this to stand out. So I'm going to create this. And I am going to create just a solid rectangle. About like that. I'm going to give it this of about 15. And I'm going to also make this stroke white. Or this mercury color I've been using. Make sure this is EV. Yep. Alright. I'm going to... Um, I really don't have to do anything right now. So right now I'm going to set the stroke to 0. And I'm going to set this fill... Actually I'm going to set this to about 5. So if there is still one, I'm going to set this color to this dark blue. Alright. Um, now that we've got that, I'm going to hit V, and I'm going to make sure that it stays inside. And then I'm going to lock this in like that. Now I'm going to crop so that where it is that size. Now that should be big enough. And I'm going to also make it a bit bigger, just so that we have room for transparency. Perfect. I'm going to save this as health bar um, 
item um, dash active none and then this is where this comes in I'm going to take off this I'm going to set the stroke to 15 20 actually I'm going to save this again as health bar item dot active but instead of active I'm going to say um, just not disabled alright now we're actually going to write some code for this um, later but I'm going to make sure I save this as a PNG format save there we go now I'm going to jump into unity and I'm going to make a folder called health bar um, folder health I'm going to call it health bar the reason I'm calling it health bar is just so that I have my two assets in there I'm going to get both of I'm going to get the active one first and I'm going to go in and I'm going to get the disabled one there and I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to go to sprite okay so now I've got these now I need to add these into my scene by I'm going to go to scene I'm going to go into 2d mode and I'm going to find my HUD perfect this is a way you can position things around and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here I'm going to go create you are, I'm going to create empty child and I'm going to call this uh, health bar now in here I'm going to place whoops I'm going to create an image And I'm going to give it the health bar. And I'm just going to set it to preserve aspect. And I'm also going to make this um, about like 160. If I go into gain, you should be able to see it's going to be pretty, you're going to see it pretty well. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to scale it down. If I go to game, It's got to be scaled down a little bit more because you can see that it's, oh, I see now. So it's got to be scaled down to about right there. And now I'm going to do, I'm going to put this into health bar and I'm going to duplicate this. Uh, so the first one I'm going to move. So I'm going to do 72. Then this one's going to be 62. This one's going to be 52. This one's going to be 42. This one's going to be 32. And then I need to duplicate this one. 32. This one's going to be 22. This one's going to be 12. This one is going to be two. This one's going to be negative twelve. So now I should have ten bars. Now I need to do um, two. Okay. Let's go to my calculator. Now it's going to, and I'm going to do two minus ten. Okay, so that should be on 8, negative 8. That needs to be on negative 8. Whoops. Whoops, I actually messed these up. 27. Now I'm just going to simply move this. To where it centers these objects up. I'm going to scale these. That looks good. 
And now you'll see that we have a health bar. But I'm now starting to realize that I don't really like this. Sadly. Let's play and see how it looks. Now, it's going to move off because I haven't done anything. Uh, that could look cool, I guess. You know what? I'm going to keep it like that. So that was making the dynamic objects using Photoshop and Unity. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see how we made this cool background, click this link, this annotation right here. If you're on the mobile version, there will be a way to, you can just go to our YouTube channel and it will be one of our newer uploads. I think it's the second newest upload. Um, yeah, don't forget to check out our website. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and um, follow us on social media at JGN Games for Twitter at JGN underscore games for Instagram and J